I believe you've got some really exciting news, Jane. Yes, I have. Issue six of the Blackpool fanzine. Now that's what I call progress. Is here. It's here. Look. It's arrived. It's wow. arrived. I'm very excited about it. It's the 45th fanzine that I've ever edited. So that's, uh, that's almost quite 45th. A, a significant landmark, isn't that's it? Maybe we'll have a party for the 50th. For the 50th, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah indeed. So tell everybody, Jane, what is a fanzine and why should people buy it? Well, a fanzine is a, it's a magazine by the fans, for the fans. Uh, it's got all sorts of wonderful things in it. So you can learn about the history of Blackpool Football Club through people's stories from yesteryear. I, you know, I've been following Blackpool for 30 years and, and you have been for longer, haven't you? Yeah. And we're st we still learn things from, from hearing other people's yeah, stories. Yeah. I think it's quite important that we keep telling these stories because if we don't, then they die out, don't mm. they? And, and a fanzine is a wonderful way of, of keeping them, committing them to print and just keeping them forever. People keep fanzines forever, don't they? I've yeah. got them going back to the 1980s, I think, fanzines. So, uh, so so you can learn from them. Uh, there's a little quiz in there as well. So Ooh. you can you can test your brain on how much you know about Blackpool. Um, it's a light-hearted uh, magazine. It's a light-hearted take on what's going on at Blackpool at the moment. There's no doom and gloom in there. That's not what I'm about and that's not what this fanzine's about. Good. There is some serious content in there uh, that's addressed accordingly, but it's not addressed in a, oh my God, goodness, you know, the, the world's going to end, the sky's going to fall in. That's not what we're about at all. So if you don't like that, if you if you like joy, um, then this is the magazine for you. Who doesn't like a bit of joy, oh, honestly? Who absolutely. doesn't like a bit of joy? <laughs> um, and uh, there's a bit of news on the Blackpool Academy in there, which oh. we don't hear a lot about. So you can learn a little bit, a bit more about what's going on there with the players that are coming through, which is quite exciting. And there's uh, stories about w the wider football culture in there as well there's uh, a new football magazine that if you like this uh, you'll probably like as well so you can read all about that and there's also we touch on the non-league scene in the local area in Blackpool as oh. well so you can learn a little bit about those clubs and how you might like to get involved perhaps on a volunteering basis with those yeah, they're always in need of help, aren't they? They are indeed, yeah. yeah. They'll rip your arm off if yeah, you even a... hint about volunteering <laughs> at a non-league club. And, and it's, it's a great experience, isn't it? We've it, been it... down quite a few times and it's it's really good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is actually. It's You know, I used to volunteer at a football club and it's just so rewarding. I, yeah. I, I miss it, actually. I do miss it a lot. Yeah. It's... You're really welcomed, aren't you? You're yeah, really made to feel and you very get involved in all sorts of things. Yeah, you, yeah, you do. And, they, you know, they treasure you, don't they? They, they do. They treasure every person. They do. You feel valued. And it's not a rip-off. You know, it's a it's a decent price as well when you get to non-league. It is so you know mm. if you, if you're if you're a Blackpool fan and Blackpool aren't playing or if they're away and you're not going, you know, yeah. it's that, that's something that you might want to do. You just can go. take your dog, take the children. You can take they, your dog. they love it. You know, the children love it. It's a football match at the end of the day, and yeah, it's really it's really good good fun. Also, it's not. There are a couple of adverts in there, but it's bookended with adverts, so it's not full of adverts. It's full of content. Content. Um, there's there's a few pictures in there. The quality is fantastic, actually. It's been printed by Bright Print in Blackpool. They've yeah. done a really brilliant job. It's it's really good quality. It's quality paper. It's quality content. Quality photographs. You you, you will enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so so that's why. Well, honestly, Jane, it sounds amazing. I, I've had a look at it, guys, and it is honestly it's quality. So how can people buy it? Uh, well, there's a couple of ways. Uh, you can subscribe. So it's £15 for the four issues for this season, and that will be delivered to your door. That's including the postage. That's yeah. including the postage, okay. yeah. So you can do that via PayPal uh, using the friends and family option and pay jane at janestuart.co.uk, which is going to be on yeah. the screen down, there you know, now. Put, put it down there for you. I'll also put it in the comment, uh, in, in the description of the video as well. So Fab, thank you very much. Uh, and also, if you don't do PayPal, just drop me a message, drop me an email at that, that same email address uh, or a direct message on the social media uh, where I am, at Blackpool Jane or at Progress1887, which is the fanzine accounts. So you can subscribe or you can buy individual copies on match days. I will be there from Saturday at 1.30, standing in the... Uh, 
Hopefully not rain, but I think it is <laughs> forecast, isn't it? Whatever the weather. If In it, the usual place. If it's raining, I've got uh, I've got an umbrella that lights up, which is quite yeah. exciting. You're on so Bluefield I'll, Road, aren't you? I will uh, be, yeah, outside the, the, the old, new arcade club. Yeah, the new arcade club, uh, which, which was the old Sam Tai, wasn't it? The old yeah, casino. and the, the old number one club. Yeah, the old number that. one club, indeed. Um, yeah. So I'll be there standing with these. Lee yeah. will probably be next to me with yeah. his camera. Uh, 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 of so course, if you want to come up to us and be on camera, that's another great thing as well. Yeah, come over, say hello, buy a fanzine. It's £3 on the day. Um, so do try and bring change if you can. Um, hopefully you're still doing cash. So do do make an effort to bring cash if, if you can. And if you've got some lying around somewhere, maybe you're used to using cards at the moment. Uh, we are going to be trialing a Ooh. card <laughs> payment facility as well. We're hoping um, the signal's okay. So hopefully that. that'll work. But obviously cash is, is preferred yeah. uh, just because it's, it's quicker. Sometimes I've got a lot of people around me wanting to buy at once. So if you can just throw some money at me, it's easier than waiting for the card machine. So uh, yeah. so that'd be appreciated. But it should, it's, 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 uh, you know, it's, it's contactless, so. It shouldn't take two, yeah. two seconds, really. It, it, it should be fine. Uh, so, yes, so 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 this is it. Uh, you're going to like it. Um, I'm so it. proud of it. I've been working hard on this all summer to make yeah. it perfect for yeah. you. I can tell you um, she's put hours and hours into this. You really have. Haven't you? And yeah. honestly, for £3, it's it's <sighs> an absolute bargain. You, and the cover's ace enjoy. as well, isn't it? I find that it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, thanks to Rob Clark uh, for yeah, doing the cover. Yeah, it's, it's really looks good, doesn't it? And thank you also to Andy Higgins at Postal and Data Systems for uh, doing the postage to my subscribers i've uh, taken advantage of his discounted rates yeah so via definitely. the franking machine so yes yeah, so good old andy and his franking machines yeah. you all and, know about him and thank you also to the catering company uh, hey. who do the biryanis <laughs> at the ground um, who have sponsored the back cover and do have a biryani at the match as well because they're wonderful and and thank you also to cask and tap uh who have uh sponsored yeah, the inside bar on back topping cover. street it is, isn't it? it it's actually the best pub in black it's actually the, yes. the best pub in Blackpool you don't tell the number 10 I said that <laughs> <laughs> but the number 10 is fantastic as well yeah but it's it? it's very handy for the station actually the cask and tap so if you're coming into the match on the train or you're going home on the train just pop in on your way and yeah. uh, and enjoy a nice beer or whatever your tipple of choice is if you want to be part of this magazine yeah. because it is written by fans then do Email me, same email address, uh, with your whatever, your stories, yeah. your memories, your photographs, your cartoons. Your, you might be, you know, inspired to write a poem about something or a song. Yeah, we all have some fantastic then, stories, don't yeah, we? Yeah, everybody's know? got stories. Everybody's got wonderful memories. So share them. You yeah. know, you, you can put them on on the internet and they'll get lost in the ether, won't they? Yeah. At some point or, you know, if you put something on a message board, it disappears and within a day or two, doesn't it? But if it's in this magazine, people will treasure these and, and keep them forever. It's for the fans. It is for you fans. And it's about us fans as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, great stories, as Jane was saying, poems, well, you know, whatever, you know, you want to be a part of it. It's it's all ours, isn't it, really? Yeah, and it it's can be personal memories. It can be memories of, of what it was like uh, at the football in, in the, the 50s. 50s or whatever you know yeah. any memories that you have there's um, there's a wonderful yeah. article written by Rob Froen in this one about the Anglo-Italian Cup and yeah. our adventure in the Anglo-Italian mm. with and it's a wonderful story um and it's something that you wouldn't know unless a fan told you that because what other way do you have of knowing mm. this it's the way of passing down stories through generations and it's yeah. yeah it's 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 very special and and if it wasn't for this magazine maybe these stories wouldn't be told so. it's a wonderful thing so make sure you find jane on saturday and get one bought yeah you, you, you won't be disappointed and also if you want back issues and um, there are there were uh, previous issues yeah. before lockdown if you remember there was four issues out that season as well and uh so if you want those just drop me an email and and i can get those sorted out for you as well Fine. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see you down at uh, Blackpool versus Reading. Yeah, bring we? bring three pounds. <laughs> bring <me>. three quid. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, I should take a fiver if you. Yeah. I will. Yeah, well, I will take it. I do have change. I've been collecting change, so I've yeah. got that stored up in my little uh, my little bum bag. But, oh, uh, but yeah, three, exciting three pounds. things are happening. So you got you've got chicken tikka biryani and you've got the fanzine now as well. Yeah, so, so five pounds for your biryani, is, three pounds for your fanzine. <laughs> Life's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon, folks. Bye bye.